going to be doing a lower body workout requiring a barbell and plates, a booty band and kettlebell or dumbbells if you don't have a kettlebell. So I'm gonna take you through an entire set through. I need you to press pause and you are going to do two additional sets. You can do three additional, making it a total of four if you want. Minimum three is what I suggest, okay? So always do a dynamic warm up, meaning movement. I already have my booty band on, not to say you have to to do this. Do a few walkouts, get your body loosened up, have your water ready to go, and have your music ready to go. All right, so we're gonna start with, typically I do a warm up set with that anyway, I've already done that, so do that if you need to. And then what we're gonna do with the barbell, I always have my step here, just to give me a good distance that I need to go, the stopping point. So I'm gonna do a pulse and then a full range each time with my weight here. Then right after, I'm gonna be doing pulsing squats for 30 seconds, and then I'm gonna do jump squats for 30, and then I'm gonna go in and out for 30, okay? So I'm gonna start my timer. And here we go. Now, you do not need to use a plyo box if you don't want to, but you just wanna make sure that you are going a good distance down. If you feel a little bit uncomfortable with squats at this point, make sure you do have a spotter or use a Smith machine. Go three more. Body weight in the heels, squeeze it up. Two, last one. Okay, rack the weight. All right, so 30 seconds. We are pulsing. Hit it. You can have your hands in front, hands on your hips if you want. Just make sure body weight is in the heels. Keeping that core tight, 15 seconds. That burn is real. Keep going, keep going, fight that burn. Three, two, one, hop it up. Heels to toes. Push those knees out the entire time. Keep breathing, keep breathing. 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, two, and one. Woo! Okay, push the knees out. I always lean over a little bit. I just feel you can feel more, but it's completely up to you. You can even hold on to something, sit back a little bit more. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, woo! All right, press pause. Two more sets. Going to put your barbell down on the ground. Make sure it's anchored against something. And you can even put a plate behind it and stick that in front of it just to make sure that it's not moving around too much. But you will put your weight on this end. We are gonna be facing towards the weight. And we're gonna do deadlifts. So we're gonna hold on to it the whole time, keeping the core tight, body weight in the heels. We're gonna do full range for 12, and then we're gonna do pick up, put downs. So we're gonna pick up the weight completely, put it down, alternate, okay? The last movement, we are gonna do kettlebell thrusters. If you don't have a kettlebell, you can use a dumbbell. All right, here we go. Good 
And you can switch up your feet placement. You can go a little bit closer together if you prefer. Wider is just gonna get a little bit of the inner thighs. Toes out will get your inner thighs a little bit more. Locking that core the entire time. This is very important that when we do this next movement, you are focusing on keeping the core tight, driving through your heels every single repetition. Here we go. We're not banging the weight down. Very controlled with every part of the movement. All the focus is on the glutes. As we stand up, squeezing. Keeping that back flat. Two more. Okay, my hands were in this position. Not sure if you can see that. All right, I'm going heavier with my weight. And with the thrusters, we're not lifting all the way up. We're not doing CrossFit here. If you want to do it that way, that's fine. I honestly feel like you can get more glute isolation, keeping it lower, my opinion. But you do whatever is best for you, whatever you feel most. All right. And here we go. 30 seconds. Popping those hips. going seven seconds five four three two and one Woo! all right pause the video two more one single leg before we switch legs so you are going to need a dumbbell if you have a step or a plyo box that is going to be very useful if you have something to hold on to that's going to be very useful as well although you can do these without. So we're gonna start with a single leg deadlift. Typically, I hold my weight opposite the foot that is down and is being worked, but I am also all about switching it up. So today we're gonna hold the weight on the same side. If you are not sure about this movement and your stability, then I would suggest holding on to something. So with your right hand, you're holding on, left foot down, left, hand holding the weight and you're going to go as low as you can driving through this heel core tight the whole entire time right after we do 12 reps then we are going to do a single leg squat if you will kind of like pistol squats that you see but we're going to sit down we're going to hold on that way we can ensure that we are driving through the heel we're getting proper form and we're able to really focus on what we're trying to work instead of feeling it in our joints and feeling like we're wobbling all over the place. There is a time and a place for everything. And if you are mainly focused on sculpting your body, then keep it simple and use things to assist you. That way you can really feel the isolation in the areas that you want to work. That's just kind of what I practice and I preach as well. So this foot down, we're gonna do just light as we sit down and see how I'm activating the glutes as I stand up, core locked. We'll do a set of those. And then we're gonna go wide with our legs, toes forward, core locked again. And we are going to hold our dumbbell and we're basically pulsing to this side. So notice I'm not lunging. It's almost like we're doing a deadlift lunge laterally. So 
wide with our legs, and we're pulsing like this. So all the focus is on that glute, okay? So I'm gonna move this back. We're gonna start with our weight. Left foot down, core locked. If you can, go all the way down to the ground. Touch the floor. That would be ideal, but we're not bending the weight. We're not doing anything other than just getting an extra pause. So we ensure that we're really driving through the heels, locking our core. But if you feel your lower back at all, and move that step out of the way, then just don't go down as low, okay? Just modify as you need to. Squeeze it up. I think I did more than 12, but that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna pull my step, my chair, whatever you're gonna use. You can use a chair too. Okay, and drive it up. See how light I am as I sit down? We're not just plopping our body down, keeping the core locked. Make sure your seat is far enough back so you really are sitting back because you don't want the knee to go over the toes. It's normal to feel your quad as well. And me three more. Squeeze it up. Two. And one. All right. Move this back. Grab that weight. Wide with the legs to start. Toes forward, you don't need to tilt the toes out. Go, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The burn should start. 10, 11, I'm going to 15, three, two, and one. You should feel the burn almost equally between your quad and your glute. That's normal. Grab some water real quick. We'll do the other side. And face the other direction, holding the dumbbell in my right hand and left foot down. Or, I'm sorry, right foot down. Drive it up. Five, six, seven. Pause if you want to. Two more. That is a good leg to ensure that you're not using momentum is to pause. Okay, Get right here, right foot out of the picture a little bit. Two, three, four, five. If you have TRX straps, you can hold on to those instead of using this method. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right, I'll show you from the side here. There we go. Five more, four, three, two, and one, woo! All right, okay, last super set is going to be single leg as well. We are gonna do single leg bridges in the crab position, followed by single leg donkey kicks, and then we're gonna do fire hydrant kicks, okay? 
made that term up. Don't even know if that is the actual name. But we are going to go off of time. Actually, no. We're going to go off of number. So 20 is the number. If you can be on your heel, do that. If you want to be flat foot, do that too. Six, push those hips up as high as you can. Ten more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so the left foot that was down is now going to be up and go. Three, five, like you're pushing up the ceiling. Fourteen, five more. Four, three, two. One, keep that inner thigh parallel to the ground. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to add one last movement. Two, three, six. Eight, ten more. Eight, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Both sides should be feeling it. Okay, we're doing the other side. Other heel down. Ready? Hit it. Thirteen, five more, four, three, two, and one. Okay, push that heel up, hit it. Fight that bird. Ten more. Five, four, three, two, one. Kick it out. Two, four, seven. Ten more. Seven, five. Four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Two. You should feel like you're cramping up. It's all part of the experience, folks. Seven. Five more. Four, three, two, and one. Woo!